So when I saw that the Apple A18 Pro CPU is crossing that 4 GHz mark, I thought Qualcomm is done for this year. I mean, crossing that 4 GHz mark on a smartphone CPU is a big deal. And I thought, this is it. The Apple A18 Pro chipset is the fastest chipset on the planet. But, <laughs> damn, now the Qualcomm 8 Lite is just launched. And man, the Apple A18 Pro chipset is like, hmm, the new master is in town. I mean the performance gap between these two chipsets are just insane. But friends, keep in mind that the Apple A18 Pro chipset is also not lagging behind. So there are some biggest differences. And I saw the biggest difference in benchmarks. So if you are new here, then subscribe. So the Snapdragon 8 Lite smashed the Apple A18 Pro by achieving a total score of 3,121,239 points in N22 version 10 benchmarks, which is about 69 times faster than the Apple A18 Pro's 1,839,852 points. And man, this difference is enormous. I mean, 69% difference is a lot higher. Now, let's break down these scores. The CPU of the Snapdragon 8 Lite achieved 704,263 points, while the A18 Pro CPU scored 475,293 points, making the A18 Pro CPU is about 32.5 times slower. Now, in terms of GPU, the Snapdragon 8 Lite GPU achieved 1,323,172 points, while the A18 Pro GPU scored 719,585 points, making the Snapdragon 8 Lite GPU about 45.6% faster than the Apple A18 Pro GPU. Plus, in terms of memory, the Snapdragon 8 Lite achieved around 613,049 points, and the Apple A18 Pro achieved 259,838 points, making it about 57.6% faster. The real scores of the Snapdragon 8 Lite is 480,755 points, whereas the Apple A18 Pro scores 385,136 points, showing about 20% faster performance in favor of the Snapdragon 8 Lite. So, the Snapdragon 8 Lite is a clear winner here. But friends, one area where the Apple A18 Pro is faster than the Snapdragon 8 Lite is in the Gigwin 6 single core scores. Well, it's not that huge, but it is faster. In single core performance, the Snapdragon 8 Lite achieved 3,508 points, while the Snapdragon 8 Lite scored 3,216 points, making the Apple A18 Pro about 9 times faster than the Snapdragon 8 Lite. The Snapdragon 8 Lite scored 10,132 points, while the Apple A18 Pro scored 8,691 points, indicating that the Snapdragon 8 Lite is around 17 times faster in multi-core scores. But friends, keep in mind that these benchmark scores may vary depending on the smartphone's variant. So a few months ago, I was researching on the Apple A18 Pro chipset and the rumors were saying that the Apple A18 Pro chipset will be the world's first chipset to cross that 4 GHz mark. And it really did. But now, Snapdragon 8 Lite has taken that to the next level. Well, the Snapdragon 8 Lite has two ultra-fast prime Orion Phoenix L cores clocked at impressive 4.32 GHz and additional ultra high performance cores based on Orion Phoenix M cores clocked at 3.53 GHz. On the other hand, the Apple A18 Pro has 6 core configuration with 2 high performance cores clocked at 4.04 GHz and 4 efficiency cores clocked at 2.2 GHz. But friends, the key differences lies in core configuration and clock speed. And the increased clock speed of the Snapdragon 8 Lite shows why this chipset is geared towards multi-threaded tasks with its high frequency and enhanced 24 MB of L2 cache memory. And notable advantage over A18 Pro. Beyond that, both chipset utilizes an ARM Borley 9.2-A instruction set and are manufactured on TSMC 3 nanometer process node, but the Snapdragon's architecture gives it a multitasking edge with 8 cores and higher clock speeds. Now, in terms of GPU, the Apple A18 Pro GPU from the Apple Bionic architecture runs at 1.45 GHz with 6 pipelines and 128 sharing units, totaling 768 shaders. It achieves about 2,227.2 gigaflops in performance of GPU test. In comparison, the Snapdragon 8 Lite features the Adreno 830 GPU from Adreno 800 architecture. This GPU offers 
to execution units, 1536 shading units, and 3072 total shaders. It operates at a frequency of 1100 MHz and achieves about 3379.2 gigaflops in GPO test, which is significantly faster than Apple 18 Pro's 2227.2 gigaflops. As you can see, the Apple 18 Pro has fewer shaders than the Snapdragon 8 Lite 768 versus 3072 shaders, which indicates how much lower the Apple GPU is compared to the Snapdragon 8 Lite GPU. While friends, it will be interesting to see full performance difference between these two chipsets in real-life test of the iQ13 versus the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, in terms of RAM and storage, well friends, they utilizes different RAM configuration. The Snapdragon 8 Lite uses a dual-channel 32-bit LPDDR5X RAM with a memory frequency of 5300 MHz. In contrast, the Apple 18 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max features quad-channel 16-bit LPDDR5X RAM operating at a frequency of 7500 MHz, which is really faster than a Snapdragon 5300 MHz, but it's still slower. Now, in terms of AI, well, both chipsets offer best-in-class AI capabilities. But when it comes to picking a winner, the Snapdragon 8 Lite takes the crown. So let me ask Hamza how? Well, friends, first of all, this chipset features the world's fastest on-device AI with real-time talking, visual processing from texts, and many more. Think of it like Siri, but more advanced, featured, and much faster. So the Apple 18 Pro can only do some text magic like making text professional, making it shorter and many more. It can also create emojis using Apple intelligence, which is Siri. But on the other hand, the Snapdragon 8 Lite is the king of on-device AI. Well, you can build personalized AI models directly on the Snapdragon 8 Lite using the Qualcomm AI Hub. So I could go into more details, but I will suggest to watch my full review of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Lite. You can find the link right here. But I will say that the Snapdragon 8 Lite is a clear winner here because of the chipsets on device AI that helps in so many ways. And the most important one is the camera capabilities. Now, when it comes to AI powered imaging, the Snapdragon 8 Lite is also a clear winner here with AI ISP. Well, it features limitless segmentation, which breaks down images into over 250 layers. Some advanced features like AI based pit capture for crystal clear images of moving subjects and real time inside AI for perfecting skin and sky tones, a video object eraser to remove unwanted elements from footage, and many more. In terms of video, this chipset offers seamless 4K 60fps video capture and ultra low light and multi-frame AI noise reduction. On the other side, the Apple 18 Pro chipset's camera capabilities are also top-notch. It can record 4K videos at 120 frames per second, which Snapdragon does from the past two years. Plus, the Apple 18 Pro can also shoot in Apple ProRes, which is a huge step up for smartphones for videography. Now, as I said earlier, and you probably saw, the winner is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Lite. And you know, these two chipsets offer somewhat incredible smartphone display capabilities. But I am pretty sure that the Snapdragon 8 Lite is also a clear winner in terms of display, as you can see. Now, in terms of connectivity, well, friends, there is a big difference. I mean, the Snapdragon 8 Lite features the Snapdragon X80 5G modem RF system, while the Apple 18 Pro has a lost ears Snapdragon X75 5G modem RF system. So if you look at the download and upload speeds, well, there isn't much difference. But in terms of coverage, efficiency, and performance, the Snapdragon Lite is much better than the Apple A18 Pro. Not only here, but in particularly Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and UWB. I mean, the Qualcomm Fast Connect 7900 mobile connectivity system is about 40% more power efficient. Plus, these three now share the same 6 nanometer chipset, which is just amazing. And this Qualcomm Fast Connect 7900 system features Wi Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6 compared to Wi Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.3. So, in connectivity, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Lite is also a clear winner. So, friends, that just brings me to my final verdict. Now, you also may ask, and that is the big question which one is the best chipset? In the smartphones world. Well, friends, both of them are good. I mean, if you look at the smartphones, the iPhone 16 Pro Max with the Apple A18 Pro and iQ13 with the Snapdragon 8 Lite are built on totally different OS. So both of them will offer top of the line performance. But friends, keep in mind, I've shown you the benchmark scores of the Snapdragon 8 Lite 
from the IQ 13. And one thing I have to clarify here, these scores may vary depending on the smartphone manufacturer featuring this chipset. For example, if you look at the benchmarks from the Realme GT7 Pro, then they are a bit slower compared to the scores from the IQ 13. So as you can see, this chipset performance does depend on the smartphone's variant and smartphone's manufacturer. Now let's announce the total winner. Well, friends, it's indeed the Qualcomm Snapdragon at a light with its unprecedented cpu gpu ram storage ai camera capabilities connectivity and many more so friends that's all for this comparison video i hope this comparison solved all of your questions about these two chipsets and if it did then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a review video like this one and if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section i will love to answer them so my name is hamza this is hair stick and see you in the next video if you want to watch the full review of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Lite, then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full review of the Apple A17 Pro, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.